Hi, Diamond Fernandez here with the HeartFit Clinic. Uh, today what I want to talk to you about is uh, a new study that came out in the New England Journal of Medicine and it came out last week and it really talks about how um, what they did is shorter wait times for angioplasty do not really lower death rates and this is the new study that actually talks about and back in the uh, beginning of the millennium we'll call it, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association came together and they said look we really got to reduce hospital wait times so when someone's admitted uh, for a heart attack, they're into the cath lab where they get an angioplasty. Um, that time should be less than 90 minutes, and that was the goal. And they reached it. They did a, a great job. But this study talks about how, even though they did reach it, it doesn't make a difference in death rates. And that's, uh, you know, a lot of the community found this a little bit sobering. And and, and perhaps yes, perhaps no. It's a little bit uh, hard to say. But the, like I said, the improvement did not translate in lower death rates. And that's uh, according to the study, like I said, in the New England Journal of Medicine. And like I said, the American College of Cardiology worked hard to get this under, and, and they did. So 83 minutes is where they were in 2005, 2006, according to all this study and research that they took. And now they took it down to 67 minutes, which is, is pretty good. So they've improved it by 20%. However, this did not improve or, or change death rates at all. And so it, they started out at 4.8%, and it went down to 47 So you know, not not a great difference, and so there's no significant change in death rates, even as the door-to-door -door, uh, balloon times decreased from, like I said, 88 minutes to 68 minutes. So, you know, what does it really mean? Uh, I think the first thing is really we should try and prevent heart attacks in the first place. And if you are it, it, having a heart attack, it's important to understand the symptoms of a heart attack and get yourself to the hospital quickly. I think that's the idea. But maybe we've hit a wall. Maybe we've hit a wall into what we can do and what we can't do. And so maybe 90 minutes is that golden time zone. And it doesn't really make a difference if we wait or increase it uh, now 20%. Um, but the point is, is really to focus on your heart health. Um, before, obviously trying to prevent a heart attack. And if you have had an angioplasty, it really makes a big difference what you do afterwards. Uh, at the end of the day, maybe not everyone needs a heart stent. And that's uh, something else to consider. Um, Maybe medical management is the first thing that is the best thing for patients. And so all these options may need to be uh, explored more from an emergency room standpoint and, and maybe decide whether, does everyone need a heart stent or does everyone not need a heart stent? And some people do, some people don't. And so um, it's really about stabilizing the patient and, and getting the symptoms under control of a heart attack and then really making a difference with your heart health afterwards. And, and that's where it comes out afterwards. So here's to your heart health. Live happier, healthier, and longer. This is Diamond Fernandez with the HeartFit Clinic.